Welcome to PCR 2024. I am Shevket Görgüli. I'm from Istanbul and I have here two experts, my friends. I have uh, Jan van Luo from China and we have Benjamin Faru from France. And we are going to discuss three devices which will ease our daily complex PCI routine practice. So we will discuss three topics today that are that the devices that were used that are used that we are using in complex PCI. Luo, just um, uh, begin with you. I have a question regarding this 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 complex PCI topic. So you are using a lot of guide extensions because if you are doing complex PCI, you have to use uh, guide extensions to some extent, in some cases at least. Uh, and we have the Expressman here, uh, which has a unique features. What would you like to say about Expressman that differs from the other guide extensions? I think Expressman is a got a very core functions for the every guide extension uh, catheter. I believe uh, backup support is very important. For sometimes, if our guiding capital is not so good for the backup support, we can use that snow down. And uh, sometimes we have the facing to the torture RST, even the calcified lesion, we need that. And uh, I don't know, you guys may be right now doing a lot of uh, DCB, drug a looting balloon, yeah. sometimes more stiff, yeah. not even the stand. Sometimes we need the guide yeah. extension capital to deliver the DCB. Yeah. That's the good things. The other thing is uh, the new design is a one-piece design. So it's a very good possibility and uh, stable and uh, very good and fracture functions, I believe so. So even more, um, this catheter, I believe there's uh, two very unique functions. There's a table design and the side hole design. Yeah, that's very important and uh, very friend use. Yeah, the tapered, as you mentioned, is very important. They, I think they have the four French tapered tip yeah. design as well, and it will also uh, prevent any pressure dampening. And as you mentioned, the four side holes will keep the ischemia even more down, so you will not encounter any ischemia. I think one of the features of this guide extension, as you mentioned very well, is that. I believe the side hole uh, design is very important. I don't know any other products have this function. From here, we can see two side holes. The more distal side hole draws right to the 30 centimeter to the tip. So it's a real helpful sometimes when we do the, uh, for example, LAD long lesion, something like that. The proximal flow can through the side hole all the way down to the distal. That's very good things. And uh, more safe, uh, avoid the damping. Second, when we do the tip injection, you can evenly spread out the pressure, so more safe when you do the tiny injection. But anyway, every time you want to do the injection, you feel very gentle mm -hmm. for this yeah. one. And also for the tapering, is, I think it's very important. I know you guys as a CTO man, sometimes when you do the ritual gray approach, you really want to have good support for the micro catheter. Yeah. If a, got the table design, probably you can go the maybe the proximal of the quattro, something like that, even deeper. The next topic is Elong. It's no doubt for the yeah. CTO man, micro catheter is yeah. real, real important. Elong, I think, is a good device for the CTO intervention. So how about your, your experience, G gentlemen? Yeah. Benjamin? Uh, thank you, Jan. <laughs> uh, first of all, to select a good micro catheter, you yep. need a good passive support and also a good active support in most of the time. And uh, I like to choose my micro catheter by saying he who can do the most can do the less. Mm -hmm. So if you have a good passive support and on top of that, a good active support, you can do every complex PCI and every uh, CTO cases. That's mm -hmm. what I like in this uh, micro cat. Yeah, but sometimes if you guys experience um, probably 2.6 it thinks a little bit big profiles, mm. but why you use that for the ritual gray approach? Why? Yeah, this is a good question. And uh, I experienced many cases when thinner microcatheter couldn't cross a septal or a collateral. And with a thicker microcatheter, due to this uh, capability, this coil uh, conception could cross even with a thicker profile. 
this is uh, really the everyday uh, practice and that's why uh, I, uh, I like it. I have the same experience um, actually, so I totally agree with Benjamin what he has said about this Elong 2.5 micro catheter. It's a real excellent micro catheter, torqueable micro catheter. For me, uh, one of the best, I can say. And moreover, you, you have special feature in this mi micro catheter. Uh, for example, you have a guide extension in, incorporate in it, yeah. so, so you can important. use in some times. That's, that's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. this is important. Yeah. And, uh, and that's quite that. And you have different length. This is also very cool. You have 130, 150, and 170. And I remember uh, some cases where I used the 170 uh, for retrograde okay. to get directly into my integrated case oh, yeah. guide and to uh, do my guide extension, uh, my guide wire extension. This yes. is the procedure. Oh. And uh, you have to choose long guide wire, of course, not, yeah. not short one. Yeah. But this is a, a special feature that I like. And I think the structure is also unique because mm. this, is an une this is an even coil. That means you have a better coaxial, you have a better axial support. And okay. if you are in the coronary artery, you have actually better support that's coming from the microcatheter. And another thing is the inner lumen is coated with PTFE. Uh, you know, that means the wire that uh, has less probability to get stuck inside the microcatheter, right. which we can sometimes encounter during retrograde procedures. Mm -hmm. So I think that makes this microcatheter in this sense also unique. The things you mentioned about the cooperate is very important. So, guide extension and the longer maybe uh, sometimes can get done the retrograde approach. Yeah. So, yeah. And when we when you are retrograde and you cross, you have to dial it. Yeah, so okay. you use a balloon. Yeah. So what kind of balloon and uh, what kind of innovation can you yeah. explain? Yeah. 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 No, it's the, the topic is now the lollipop. So the lollipop is, 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 a, is a real invention for me because there are some unique cases that I have experienced with this balloon. But uh, when we talk about the scientific issue, we have the Reconcosita trial. Uh, and this Reconcosita trial showed us that with tapered one non-compliant balloons, when we cannot cross the stand, for example, for post dilation, because we have to post dilate the stand in order to prevent any um, re-occlusion and restenosis or any acute coronary syndrome. So after stenting a calcified lesion, we should post dilate properly. And first we have to pass into the stand. And passing into the stand in tortuous vessel may be sometimes very difficult. And in that sense, Lollipop helped us a lot. And we have uh, now undergone, undergone another study. It's a prospective randomized trial. The centers, there are 16 centers in China and we are also included in this study and we are trying to um, make comparison, comparisons between tapered ones mm -hmm. and, and the spherical one. The spherical one is the lollipop balloon. And the, 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 how this lollipop is functioning is when you push the uh, tapered non-compliant balloon, sometimes you get stuck in the proximal edge of the stand. And if you force too much, then you get stand malfunctioning. Right. And, uh, and in order to prevent that, uh, you, you have a spherical type and this spherical type goes easily, slides easily into the stand and if you have even a tortuous lesion, you are very easily to manage to go into the stand and post dilate it. And uh, I have just one unique experience I want to mention. I have uh, talked about that at lunch with you guys. We have talked a lot about the APT products, but this one is very unique. I made a Kulat procedure, okay? And in this Kulat procedure, uh, you know, sometimes you have to uh, pedilate the strut that's facing the side branch, okay? And in this case, I wanted to see if any non-compliant balloon would go uh, through the struts. It's impossible, of course. I tried a straight one, yeah. two, three point something, and then just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what Lollipop would do crossing two struts, okay, and going into the side branch. And it went easily uh, and smoothly into the side branch. That was fascinating for me. And I said, this, this balloon is something different. And uh, I am very also amazed by this, by this product. Maybe you mean with the lollipop. I don't know this device, but I, I like it yeah. first because you avoid the problem instead of facing it. Yeah. Because when you are in the convexity of the vessel, you, ha you need to push. But if you can push, you push 
against a wall, yeah. against yeah. calcium, against stent. Yeah. And it makes me think about the wiggle, wiggle wire, wire yeah. which is uh, wiggling the, the nose of the device yeah. to avoid the problem instead of yeah. facing yeah. it. We have, I have a question for you. Yeah. At that case, do you use a double wire, even the body balloon, to cross the stand? Yeah, this is a good That's question. That's a technical issue. This is a good question. One of the um, uh, intentions of this lollipop balloon is we, do, we want to avoid any guide extension. We want to avoid any anchoring. We want to uh, make the procedure more complex than already it is because we are facing complex lesions. And if we do uh, uh, anchoring balloon, then we can um, damage the, the donor artery, for example, or if we do it inside the stent, we can damage the stent, even if it's a donor artery or the, the anchor. And, and if you use guide extensions, and guide extensions are, you know, costly, then we increase the cost. And if we try too hard, we can do maybe uh, stent malfunction. In that cases, I think lollipop is very useful in crossing this kind of lesions by hindering, preventing any usage of body wire or making the, making the lesion more complex, yeah. making the procedure more complex, or even avoiding guide extensions. So I think that's one of the uh, beauties of this lollipop balloon. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we, I would like just to thank the industry and the engineers to, uh, to think about this and to yeah. making our life more easier. Yeah. and to making those procedures more simple. Not simple, but more simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But one thing I want to point out for the expressman, because it's a side hole design, I think you guys may be in the wind Tavi, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Sometimes we have to protect the coronary, we have to use a guy extension catheter. If you got the side hole there, it's more safe, yeah. right? You got the flow to the coronary. Because we got a one case trouble is a, all the way down and then block the LED flow and then the patient just down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, very unique. I, I think I like it a lot. Probably eventually it will be the standard setting for Tavi when you protect the coronary. Mm. Instead, yeah. Of, yeah. instead of doing a KMNI technique, yes. complex technique. There is something unique in this guide extension as well. The exchange um, length is yeah. also unique, okay, with 35 Five. centimeter right. in length. And uh, this the one piece, you know, uh, fashion of this one is also important because the entry point uh, is larger. So in some guide extensions, you uh, may encounter su some stacking of the stand in the right. at the entry, entry, entry point. So to hindering that, I think these features are also very important. Yes, you're right. Actually, here is a little bit flare, little yeah. bit flare, and it's easy to let the stand wherever to go. Yeah. Uh, because this is one piece and the other guide extensions are, they, they have the, 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 the road, okay, stainless road, and it's attached to a ring. Yep. It's, uh, and then it's attached to a mesh braiding. And this three uh, piece structure may cause problems. We don't have this with the express man. Benjamin, how often you use the guy extension to block the flow, anticlerate flow and do the ADR, something Ooh. like that? This is a good question. I like this um, extension guiding devices for uh, blocking the flow during ADR procedure to, okay. to keep my subentimal space as right. dry as possible because we know that it, it's a factor of failure. So I like it and I, I was, I, I must admit I was doubtful about the side hole at the beginning, but I tried it and I, I, I saw that it's, it, it's working. It's working very well. Yeah. Okay, Benjamin, ask me, uh, let me ask you the last question. Okay. So uh, you mentioned about uh, the extension wire mm -hmm. and it's coming out of every APT product in terms of microcatheter. It's coming out from the Elong Dual Lumen, from the other microcatheters, mm -hmm. and it's coming out of, of this one here. And how useful is it? Can you give us an example, for example? Yeah, I had a, an example last, last month uh, where I get uh, many uh, devices in my guiding catheter, so I couldn't use a, a trapping balloon. So mm -hmm. I was happy to have this micro catheter and uh, the guide extension ready on the table, universal for every wire. Yes. So you have to know it because at, at the beginning you, you, you think it's only a mandrin, yeah. but it's a guide extension. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. How about your balloon? <laughs> about lollipop. My, which balloon? Ah, uh, lollipop. Okay, lollipop. <laughs> you want me to say Some something story. more? 
something something more about the lollipop. So I think the, the randomized trial that we are now uh, doing, conducting, will give us a better um, understanding, at least from a scientific point of view. What we are talking is about, of course, the experience is important, but we need also, um, you know, as hard sound evidence to back up our experience. And I think it will come. And the, the, the preliminary results of the study is, is very encouraging. So the results are coming and they are good, okay. Uh, they are uh, in line with our expectation. And uh, Lollipop, I think, will be a real player um, in terms, I think you won't use any other tapered NC balloon. You, if you have some kind of um, hard um, complex lesion, you just ask for give me the lollipop and then you will finish the job. I think that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, my opinion. right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, right. Okay. Well? It's a little big thing. Yeah. It's a little thing, but helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, of yes, course. Yes. So I think um, we are here about to wrap our discussion or meeting. Mm -hmm. If you say okay, sure. if you have anything to add, please. So then um, for the for the last uh, but not least, I would like to conclude that uh, this three tailored complex PCI devices uh, are helping us and will help us to ease the complex PCI procedure. That's yeah. my conclusion. That's Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you.